Okay, so then continue. Fulfilling the mitzvah. To fulfill the mitzvah of Kiddush, uh, one must immediately eat something that, uh, that constitutes a seudah. This is called Kiddush bimakom Siuda, Kiddush in a Siudal's location. Some of scrupulous, uh, uh, sc uh, scrupulous to always serve a hamotzi food in their siuda. However, the halacha is that one may uh, have mizoinous food as well for a meal to be considered siuda. This means eating food that contains at least kizayas, one ounce of flour, within two, three, four minutes span. However, to satisfy the requirements of eating the day meal, once are required to eat bread later. Okay, so let's try to understand what it says here. Uh, actually, no, no that's uh, the, the whole of the end of the section. Let me finish one sentence. We explain from the beginning. Uh, if there is not possible, one may drink reviz, approximately 3.3 ounces, or wine or grape juice, and that considers soda. Okay. So what, what does it mean? Okay, so in in order for for a person to do it like um, to do a kiddush that is uh, meaningful, uh, kiddush as as we said, the kiddush the blessing that uh, that we say on wine before the meal is actually must follow by the meal. If if there is no meal, this uh, this uh, kiddush is useless. We said that, that this kiddush is attached to the meal, right? So what does it mean? So uh, right after Kiddush, right in that place, and uh, if you went to a different place, there is a problem. We're not going to go all of the details, uh, what problem or how to fix the problem. And okay, you, when, when, whatever you do in Kiddush, you must have food that you're going to eat, right? So it's uh, the, 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 uh, the, the proper level is to, is to have um, uh, hamotzi food. Meaning that you in a place where you did, did kiddush, you must eat bread. How much you must eat bread? Kizai. So it's uh, as we said, it's one ounce, twenty-eight grams approximately. So it's not, it's not much. It's like half a slice, right? That's uh, what would be proper. <clears throat> but but in in many, especially in the shuls, they they don't say the sort of bread because people. Okay, people are not going to stay like uh, for to, to wash their hands. Then for some people, it's too much bother, and they would not not going to do it. Okay, so the another solution is that uh, that you serve uh, mizoinus. Mizoinus. What does it mean? Mizoinus. So cakes, right? Uh, cakes and cookies and stuff like that, right? And uh, and then uh, of course in, like of course you you must eat uh, this kizais again uh, this uh, one ounce and as we said before it's you have two three to four minutes to complete this kizais but it's it's not hard I mean unless person does not eat and does not like this food so otherwise there is no problem um, and of course and as 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 he said. So like um, maybe like uh, when you're in a shul, uh, you complete this kizais, but this kizais is very very proper since it's only one kizais, so it uh, kizais be of a, of a flower, so it's not a kizais of a cake. Even after the fact, so the 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 minchag the, the the tradition is that even uh, like uh, kizais of cakes is also good like. It's, it's only after the fact what, what I mean because well, when you look at the cake it's not only it's not only flour in there right if it's you have kizais of the cake you have uh, water there you have eggs there you have sugar there like uh, some filling uh, whatever you have some cream on top whatever you have so so it's not it's not exactly kizais right so so the proper to eat uh, one kizais of flour Okay, so it would be, I don't know, you, you can estimate maybe one, one and a half time, like uh, maybe one and a half kizais, two, two kizais of uh, an end product. It depends on a cake or depends on the cookies, of course. Right, but he said, uh, of course, it is proper, proper, proper to eat the bread later. So if you, so what, that, that's what uh, people do in many shuls and uh, they, they serve cake. They do, uh, Rabbi does uh, kiddush, they, they serve cake. People eat cake, cookies, whatever they serve, and then they go home, and then they do kiddush one more time, 
and then they're going to eat bread. Um, but is, uh, there is a third possibility. So we're going from top to bottom. So top is, uh, is a bread, second is misoinus, and the third is um, the third is uh, wine. So and um, uh, I would say just say that, that wine, right, grape wine, have uh, have this um, quality of satiating a person, right? So so in some sense, if like if a person drinks this rivi. Revi is the minimum requirement. Um, it's 3.3 .3 ounces. It's in grams. If somebody goes in grams, it's approximately 100 grams, like a little less than 100 grams. Um, and uh, and it would consider as as a person actually ate ate in double quotes in that place. So it would be considered as he did kiddush uh, b'makom siuda. Okay, it's very interesting. Uh, what else? What else? What else? So technically, technically, just the bottom line, right? The bottom line. So if person does not want to drink a lot of wine, uh, so technically, a person who does kiddush can drink um, uh, amount of uh, after finishing kiddush mlolugmav, the amount uh, that uh, feels uh, like uh, cheek full. We said it's approximately half of the uh, uh, reviews. So over like 1.7 approximately, 1.7 ounces, right? And then, like after that, so do this 3.3 ounces. And it's going to count as a person ate, ate in double quote, of course, because the person drank in that place. Okay. Any questions on what we said? <clears throat> but, but in general, in general, so like we must plan. We, we, we cannot just just start doing uh, this kiddush spontaneously. We, we need to prepare food, and we're going to eat in this specific place, right? And uh, so, we're, and then we're going to do kiddush in here. Mm -hmm.